Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome, folks. Today, The Hungry Gamer is at Origins Game Fair, and I'm super excited to be here with Jeff Morrow, president of Slugfest Games, which is the publisher of my all-time favorite game, Red Dragon Inn, and one of my all-time favorite deck builders, Battle for Greyport. Yes. Now, Jeff is going to tell us about the new hotness, and maybe, if I'm real nice, he's going to let us know about some of the upcoming Kickstarters. Jeff, please. All right. So, let's see. The most recent product that we have at this show is our uh, two-character expansion for the Red Dragon Inn, Ohava versus Murgath. Ohava is the Grand Cleric of the Great Temple of Greyport. You might recognize Ohava as a character from Battle for Greyport, and we decided to turn her into a, uh, into a Red Dragon Inn character. Now, her counterpart in this one is the villainous uh, Black Knight, Murgath. Um, so you've, you've heard of the uh, story of a, of a uh, heroic adventurer who is cursed with a cursed sword that they can't get rid of? Well, this is kind of the reverse of that. This is a bad guy who uh, has a blessed sword that he can't get rid of. So uh, these are really fun, two, two new characters, uh, kind of unique mechanics in the game, and uh, yeah, check it out. It's on sale here at the con. Now, Slugfest does a really good job of keeping new content coming out constantly throughout the year. Yep. Can you give me the sneak peek on the next one, maybe two Kickstarters? Yeah, absolutely. So. Our next Kickstarter campaign, launching in just a couple of weeks, is actually not a Red Dragon Inn product. We're doing a reboot of our old title, Kung Fu Fighting. So, so that will be coming out. Uh, uh, we're doing like we did with our On Guard Kickstarter six months or so ago. Um, the way it works is we're, we're just going to make a print-on-demand version of the game. If there's enough demand, we'll make a new uh, printed, uh, printed version of it. What kind of game is uh, Kung Fu? Kung Fu Fighting is our very first game that we made all the way back in 2004. Um, it is a, it's basically a, a light, quick, fun, um, kind of silly uh, Kung Fu card game where you are uh, just playing attacks against your opponents like a running, flying, spitting, uh, <laughs> down, you know, uh, punch down the stairs, right? And then you try to block it. And that, that's it. That's the whole game. You you play until only one one player is standing, and it's and it's lots of fun. And what's coming after that one? After that, uh, in the fall, not sure exactly when yet, but we are kickstarting our next two character set, Piper versus Rip Snarl. So uh, both of these characters again are ones that if you're a Battle for Greyport fan, you recognize because Piper is the eagle-eyed sniper from that game, and Rip Snarl, of course, is one of the bad guys. Um, that's a two-character set. Piper, Piper already exists. Piper is currently our Slug Crew Rewards character. So our people who have done lots of demos for us already have Piper, and she's really fun. She has a side deck of arrows that do uh, cool and funny things. Um, Rip Snarl, uh, we are we're still in development on Rip Snarl, but basically he's a werewolf. Uh, he's going to be turning back and forth between his human and werewolf forms, but he really wants to be a werewolf because in his werewolf form he's big and powerful and strong, and in his human form he's kind of scrawny and sniveling and, you know, and he doesn't really like being that. And I was sent here with one very hard question. Okay. When are we getting a pookie plushie and what do we have to do? When uh, you and 10,000 of your friends wa uh, want a version of it, we'll, we'll do that. Now, in the meantime, what we do is we, there are some, there are some vendors out there that sell stuff that's pretty close based on that, uh, based on that certain rabbit from a certain movie that I don't, uh, don't draw a parallel with very often, but, Never. Uh, Never. but, uh, but yeah, th those are the best option you have right now, unfortunately. If there's more demand, we'll, we'll look into it, but sorry. And can we get a sneak peek at what's coming even after, or am I pushing too hard? Uh, that one, that one I can't talk about yet. Um, I will say we are starting planning work on the Red Dragon in 8. Um, oh, my poor wallet. Uh, right. And we are also uh, working on a uh, Red Dragon in themed dungeon crawl game. Oh! Because we have all of these adventurers. Let's do something with them. I'm super excited about that. I will say that my wife has told me that she will play the dungeon crawl if she can be God. You can be God. That is all she has said. So I'm the, excited. The six characters we're planning to put in that game, the six playable characters.